This week we are travelling up the east coast of Scotland. We discover some of the best spots it has to offer. We go skinny dipping in the North Sea and we meet up with some of Tom's old uni mates. Hi, we're Tom and Iz. We are learning the ins and outs of van life. I'm Tom and this is Isabel. Over the last few years we've been converting an old Ford Transit we call La Bamba. Despite a pandemic, we managed to take her down the coast of Spain and Portugal last year, where we learned the ins and outs of van life. A second lockdown in Cornwall gave us the chance to give her some much needed improvements. For the last two months, we've been driving around Scotland. We've stayed at some of the most beautiful park ups, driven along scenic roads, have been on the wettest hikes, made friends with the wildlife, been swimming in any cold water we can find, discovered countless waterfalls, and conquered some of the toughest mountains to climb. Hi, morning everybody. Welcome to another episode of Van Life with Tom and Iz. Um, so I've actually just been for a swim this morning. Did the 6.30 to 7.30 lane session in Stonehaven. Hard to get up that early, but it felt good. And then I've just started work at 8.30. <laughs> and there's Tom in the background, lazy bones. I've been up. Mm. Well, me, well me, me, me. I'm well a superstar. Yeah. I've been up since six. Four hours. As you can see, we have left the mountains. We are now on the coast. We are parked up right next to the sea. We're right on the seafront and we're in Stonehaven. It's been a couple of days uh, since we did the Loch Nagar hike, um, but we've been pretty much locked in the van. It's been really bad weather and I've been trying to bash out with last week's video, trying to edit it um, because this weekend we're going to be busy so we need to get it done as soon as possible. So these are the toilets that are near where we're camping, nice and handy, beautiful little harbour and that's little Labamba parked up on the waterfront. <laughs> Up really high, we're gonna on our way to Donotto Castle. Castle, and it's getting a little bit dark, but it's really beautiful. We've got our first sighting of Donotto behind us. We're just saying, like, the west coast is gets all this coverage, and everyone's going to the west coast which you definitely should, but this is just as beautiful, this East Coast, it's just different. And I don't know, I feel like it's not as touristy, but it deserves to be. It's fading now, so we're going to head back. And Stonehaven is well known for its chip shop. Um, it's got one of the best chip shops in the UK, supposedly. So we are going to go and head there, I think, get some chips. And I just noticed there's a six degrees north, which is a really good Belgian beer bar that I remember from uni, and they've got one here. So uh, maybe I could be tempted to have one of them as well. Hello, so last night we did end up going for uh, some beers at Six Degrees, it was quite nice and we got fish and chips from the best chip shop in Scotland apparently. 
um, and it was quite nice. Um, today we have driven up the coast, um, all the way up along past Aberdeen, we've skipped out for now, and we are at a place that I don't know how to pronounce, or can't remember the name, Colli Khan or something, and my friend recommended this spot, so we're going to go check it out, and I kind of need a wash, so I might have to get in the sea. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I've said I will, so I kind of have to now, because Isabel won't let me live it down. <laughs> No goofs allowed at this beach. Looks like we're on our own because the one car here has just left. Really lovely bay here. It's really peaceful, and we're the only ones, and it's really pretty. So um, we just went for a little dip, um, and because we're alone, we decided to get skinny dipping. people down here. I've just been collecting some firewood and there's not really much here but I think we're gonna have a little fire. I can't show you my firewood I've got. Someone's already had one here so I just collected a little bit of wood. I thought hey why don't we have a fire with this view. I don't think we might have a store of wood in the van. No, I just <laughs> Where would that be then? No, I said, I was thinking if we have any wood that we could burn. I just, I, I am just suddenly confused about like, where you think we've got wood. There it goes. Goodbye, oh, chopping board. I just thought it might be, it looks quite dry some of it. And then I got a couple of logs. So we're just having a really nice chill evening. We're making some wraps on the beach and a little fire with the wood we found. Our battery's about to die, so. Well, oh yeah, <laughs> we did use our chopping board and that is the main source of the fire, to be fair. And <laughs> we're looking for a chopping board soon. Our battery's gonna die now, so. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good morning everyone. We had a fun evening last night with the fire and now we have uh, just woke up a bit late and we're on our way to Cullen but we need to do services like get water and empty our toilet on the way so it's about life. The chores are a little bit <laughs> endless because you always think about when you're next going to get water um, but we are loving journeys at the moment because yesterday in the chat shop we bought 10 CDs for a pound so we got some real classics. Morning Tom. Morning. What's your favourite CD we got? Well we haven't listened to them all yet, um, but we'll go through them quickly. We got The Carpenters, The Rat Pack, Nat King Kyle, OC Soundtrack, Sting, Stereophonics, Pionatini, Elvis Presley, Dido and Coldplay. 
<laughs> All for one pound. All for a pound, ten for a pound, not bad. Right, yeah, we've got to get going yeah. there because we need to do a lot of stuff before we start work. Yep, cool, right, I'm just packing up the back. So, driving checks are done, put everything away, locked the cupboards with our little magnets, put the washing up in the sink. Let's go. This is a really nice park up, and we actually stumbled across it by chance. We didn't look it up, look for it on park for night. Well, Tom's friend Victoria recommended it, but we actually didn't realise that you could stay the night here. So it's been a really nice little find. We have made it to Cullen. We're parked up on the waterfront. Cullen is famous for a few things. One is Cullen skink, the fishy broth, um, which isn't vegan, so we're not going to eat it. Second is its pet cemetery, so we're going to show you that. Such an unusual little spot with all the little dog statues and uh, sheep and stuff. But you got resting with an amazing view, so rest in peace. But we're actually pre we're parked like so that's the pet cemetery, and then we're parked just here. Um, so hopefully we're not kept up in the night from all the ghost dogs howling, and it's Halloween in a couple of days as well. Ooh. Isabel has been working today, um, as, but, per. as per, <laughs> um, but we're all finished up now and we are actually heading off. So part of the reason why we've been uh, exploring this area is why well, it's beautiful, but secondly, um, lots of my mates from uni are all having a big meet up in Dufftown. So we're heading there to go and meet my old uni friends. Um, so that should be fun. Off we go! It's been super grey all day today and very rainy uh, but I just want to show you here because look how cool of where we parked up is. We're like right on the waterfront. Um, so yeah, now we're driving off to Dufftown. Oh. To go see my mates. Um, it's about a 30 minute drive so not too bad. Good morning guys, feeling a little bit rough today. Um, we've arrived in Dufftown and uh, oh. um, we stayed in the van again last night but we're heading back to the house for showers and breakfast. I brought Shanta Rose with us. It was really nice to meet up with lots of my uni mates, some of whom I hadn't seen for many years. Last week I spoke about how I didn't like filming in front of other people and felt a bit uncomfortable. So this time I'd come up with an ingenious solution. So we are hiking uh, around Dufftown at the moment, but I'm going to give you over to my main man Mark here and he's going to go around and interview some of the people here for you. live from Meg's Wood. We're coming over to our um, friend Jake Price who's uh, answering nature's call. It's Jake, how are you experiencing really Meg? Um, 10 out of 10 place where we actually Fantastic highly spot. recommend. One of the best rated urination spots in the region. On to our next interview. <laughs> A 
and now over to Alex. Alex, you're live on Mushroom News. So any comments for people who want to visit this region? Um, I encourage them to do so, it's a fantastic place. Lovely woodland here, plenty of <laughs> trees. <laughs> Tons of trees, no shortage there. You and your first appearance on Mushroom News. A yeah, long-awaited uh, guest, actually. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, yeah. uh, Mark. Yeah. Um, a real privilege, actually, to, to feature on the channel. Some beautiful comments there from our wonderful, wonderful interviewees. More news as it comes. Reporting live no. from a massive pile of dung. Mark Sweeney reporting live from Mushroom <laughs> TV. We have Alaria. Alaria, how how are you experiencing this uh, this this walk today? Oh, I am loving it. I'm loving all the cows. I'm so, afraid I'm not a big fan of mushies. <laughs> too many mushies. Too and many Danielle, mushies. any comment to make to Mushroom TV and our roving reporter? Uh, they all look frankly terrifying, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be going there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Just walk out where you can, guys, you know. Keep a hurry up. Keep legs popping, you know. Get off this way. <laughs> and we're here live with Maddie. Maddie, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? Uh -huh. You're pleased to be on uh, Mushroom TV for its uh, first programme. I'm really excited about it. What's your favourite thing about being in the Highlands? These colours and how bright they are. The autumnal vista. It is an autumnal vista. It is. I don't know. Welcome to your first appearance on Mushroom TV. Thank you. <laughs> As we walk by the whiskey barns, how does it feel to be in such an atmospheric and rom often romanticised part of Scotland? It feels, I would say, life fulfilling. <laughs> What's your favourite part about Dufton? <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part about Dufftum is uh, definitely the people. The people? Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you for joining us for yet another segment on Mushroom TV. We've been your roving reporters. See you soon. Hello, my name's Budsy and I'm going to touch this electric fence <laughs> with my bare hand. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> <laughs> So I've got the camera back from Mark and we're just getting back into Duff Town. And what's Marky got here? What you got mm. there, mate? You're right there, mate. Mushrooms. Mushrooms for dinner. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> Robert, you have. Look at this amazing group of people. We've just had an amazing walk. Three hours around the neighbourhood of Duff Town. We saw lots of distilleries. We saw lots of chanterelles, which we picked. We're going to have them for breakfast tomorrow. Just that. So we've all dressed up for Halloween. Um, as you can tell, I'm clearly a mummy. This is Kian Head reporting live from Mushroom TV. Lars, you're live on Mushroom TV. Am I? What are you dressed as? As a mushroom, can't you tell? There's a spider over there. Spider, spider, spider! Oh. How's it going? <laughs> I didn't know you were talking to me. It's all good, I'm just really excited to try What have you got in. here? Talk us through um, it. So I've basically got some li black lime crushed on some corn on the cob and some 10 to 10 broccoli. I don't even know what it is, but it looks delicious. Yeah, but are you excited though? You, you, you must be so excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, you look it. Look yeah, at those look excited at those eyes. eyes. I'm excited right now. Oh, that's so good. And look at these legs. Oh look at those, those legs are so excited and, and out there. They're <laughs> pretty big aren't they? Right I'm off to me. Bye spider. I have been getting a lot of um, slack from all my mates uh, here because I've got Lego hair. So they have decided they're going to uh, cut it all off. So here we go.
Hello, so what a weekend. Um, Hello everybody. <laughs> we haven't uh, reviewed any of the footage that uh, we let our friends film, so I'm not sure what this week's vlog is going to have turned out like, but I'm sure it was very interesting. <laughs> um, we have now left Dufftown and we are in Aberdeen, the Granite City, and we will be here when you join us next week for next week's vlog. This is the first time we've seen waves like this in Aberdeen. This is mad. There's people surfing, look. Wow, they, they're big waves, man. Yeah. So yeah, we're a little bit hungover after a weekend of partying, but it's been super fun being with Tom's friends, meeting them all. Now we're gonna go grab some pizza and I've got to start work again. Yeah, catch you next week. Thanks so much for watching.